Kelly from OneLoneRabbits.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to care for your rabbit on a daily basis. So the first thing you obviously are going to need to do is to provide food for your rabbit. A healthy diet is vital for your rabbit's overall health and well-being. If you guys have more questions on proper diet for adult rabbits, I'll have some links in the description bar which will take you um, to websites or videos that you know just show what you should be feeding your adult rabbit. I also have a video on baby rabbit diet that I might include in the description down below as well well. So one of the first important things is providing hay to your bunny. Make sure that you're refreshing your hay daily just to keep it nice and fresh and enticing your rabbit to eat more. Another thing you're going to need to provide is fresh vegetables. Fresh vegetables are very important in a rabbit's diet as well. It's the second most important thing right after hay. And lastly, you are going to want to provide a healthy based pelleted food. Now, I personally have chosen not to feed pelleted food for my bunnies. It was a personal decision with my vet, and also some of my rabbits have extreme reactions to the pellets, which is why I don't feed them. However, many people prefer to feed at least a couple tablespoons of pellets per day. Uh, just make sure it's a nice, high quality one. And of course, another important thing to provide your rabbit with every day is fresh water. Now you want to make sure you are giving fresh water from a dish versus a water bottle. Water bottles are not natural for rabbits to drink out of. They can malfunction very, very easily. And also when they're just normally drinking from a bottle, they cannot get enough water that they need on a daily basis. Rabbits drink the same amount of water as a 20 pound dog, even though most of the time they're only five pounds or less. So fresh, clean water from a dish is very important to provide. Make sure you are cleaning it out daily. I just rinse it out in the sink and then fill it up with nice, fresh water. And next, you're gonna, of course, need to provide love and attention to your pet rabbit. So there isn't like a strict amount of time you need to spend with your bunny, but pretty much just make sure that you are providing them with enough attention. Obviously, there's gonna be days where you're busy or you're gone, that you know you won't be able to spend as much time as you would like. However, just take some time out of your day to pet them, snuggle them if that's what they enjoy. Otherwise, just sitting with them and um, you know just paying attention to them. Something that kind of goes along with this is playtime. Rabbits need playtime outside of their cage daily. Rabbits housed in cages are going to need at least four hours of playtime per day. Now if your rabbit is housed in a cage, uh, this is definitely very, very important as they need time to run around, stretch their legs, um, and just have a chance to be able to run, binky, even just explore an area. If your rabbit is free roam, has their own room, or you know, is has very, very large quarters, this isn't as, um, I would say, crucial as a rabbit housed in a cage. However, something that I like to do with my bunnies, even though they pretty much have like an entire room to themselves, I do like to provide some time outside of that pen so they can explore, they can, um, you know, just, they, rabbits are very curious creatures and they do enjoy exploring and um, going in areas that, you know, aren't, you know, normal to them. So I personally have been working on creating a playtime area for my bunnies. I am not finished yet. I need to um, purchase a couple more things to make it um, work out, but I have let them out in the playtime area a couple times and they all really, really enjoy it. So that's pretty much it for the daily care of your rabbit's needs. However, there is much more involved when caring for a bunny. There is weekly care, monthly care, all of that stuff that needs to be thought about, um, but I cannot include that all in one video. If you guys wanna see a weekly care video and a monthly care video, please leave that down in the comment section below and I hopefully will get around to filming that if that's something you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys soon on a new one. Bye!